Now let's come together in a time of intercessory prayer. Father, as the weather has changed in recent days, we pray for all those whose lives have been disrupted by snow, floods, heavy rain. Lord, we pray that you will keep people safe and warm and we pray for our emergency services already under pressure for whom this will add extra work for them. We pray for those whose lives have been disrupted by the COVID pandemic. Not just those who are suffering, but those whose daily lives have been seriously affected. We pray for people waiting for hospital treatment, for operations, for other conditions, who must be anxious. Give them patience and strength. And we pray that their treatments will be done quickly. We pray for those who are waiting for their vaccinations, that these, this programme will be rolled out smoothly and efficiently. We pray for those who have been affected by the Brexit situation. Lorry drivers whose goods are delayed and they have to sit and wait in queues and fill in lots of paperwork. People whose goods have been spoiled because they've had to wait. Lord, we ask that this will sort out soon and that people will know that things will go smoothly. We think of all that fish that's just rotting because it can't be processed. Father, this seems wrong to us when in a world where people are starving. We pray for that situation, Lord. We pray for parents who are trying to homeschool their children, give them patience, help them, help the teachers who are working to give lessons to key workers' children in school as well as provide online lessons. Give our teachers energy and grace. And as tomorrow is the start of the week of prayer for Christian unity, we pray for all our brothers and sisters in Christ, particularly the other fellowships in our area that we know of. Lord, be with them. Bless them in the work that they're doing. Help us together to build your kingdom. Amen.